Morin, our wild-caught female, is an unwieldy, some might say destructive bird. A lovely, lovely creature. She'll chew through just about anything given half a snowball's chance. Sometimes even a prospective mate. Um, her new friend was domestically bred and hand-raised in an aviary by humans. Hi, Humphrey. <laughs> Humphrey's not so rough and tumble. <laughs> Humphrey previously paired with another macaw, but he rejected that bird, so he's very eager to, um, mate. Lauren appears to be, uh, responding to his advances ever so cautiously, allowing him to feed her nuts and berries. But her mercurial mood swings tend to complicate the courtship. Which naturally contributes to the decline of these rare, endangered, and, uh, well, really, really just neat animals. You can tell by their smiles that these little comedians are a constant source of light, always doing funny things. You taste good. I do? Mm-hmm. You know, I read this thing about saliva and saliva compatibility. If someone tastes good, they have compatible saliva. If someone tastes bad, um, you probably shouldn't be kissing them. Shh. I love that you brought me to the zoo for our first official date. All the animals are safely penned, and none of them talk. From time to time. There's been no bill contact, and Lord and Humphrey have yet to groom each other in the cloacal area, removing the dense down that can inhibit successful fertilization. This could mean that they've lost interest in mating. What was that about not mating? Take a picture. It'll last longer. I can't. Huh? Why? What are you afraid of? Afraid? I'm not afraid. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. So maybe you should be? Why would I be afraid of you? Take a picture. It'll last longer. It'll last longer. Take a picture. All right, all right. God. Abby? seeds in my hair and a feather but you were very gallant <laughs> prescription i have to go folks are going out of town this weekend and asked me to drop it by mom said to be sure to take it with food it's a topical ointment she thinks you're too thin how did you do that to yourself anyway i was on a date did you report the bastard you cannot let a guy get away with that think of the next woman i am the next woman he didn't do this to me. In fact, he was great. Wow, you really are a man-hater. You should talk. Meaning what? You are a man-eater. You lie. Do you have any idea how many of your discarded boyfriends I ended up consoling when I lived at home? Yuri, oh. that exchange student from Prague, still writes to me. So whoever this new guy is, please do not give him my phone number when the inevitable happens. What if I gave his wife your number instead? He is married? Only technically. But I'm sure you could take care of that. You could recruit her in your lesbian lifestyle like you did Beth. I did not recruit Oh, look! Her. Isn't that your girlfriend's husband now? Boy, this is gonna be awkward, huh? Here, let me help you out, man. Sharon! Thomas! Hi! Hi! The throat looks 
really good. Oh, yeah, the goiter. Yeah, thanks. You can hardly tell it was there. <laughs> no flare-ups? No, not since our uh, date. Good. So you've been avoiding the penis. Peanuts. Because <laughs> you're allergic. And there could be swelling in the throat. It was peanuts, right? Pe peanuts? Yeah, that was kind of a bad night. <laughs> So uh, it worked out pretty well for you, though. So how is Beth? Are you guys still, uh, girlfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, she's great. Yeah. Good, good, because I want her to be happy, so it's... She is. We're, we're both happy. Okay, I got a, something to deliver, so... So, how's the nurse? Oh, oh, sorry. Have a good day. Do you know what happens when a fairy's wings lose their dust? The fairy dies, that's why. Restrooms are for customers only. No. I don't have to use the bathroom. Uh, well, I do, actually, but that's not why I'm here. I'm Rufus. Remember, I work at the zoo with Penelope. Oh, the bird lady? The elephant lady now. Huh? Because of you, they've got her mucking out the elephant pen. She's banned from the aviary. They say she can't control the birds. I'm sorry. Okay, sh she was the fairy from, like I was saying, and the birds... Well, the birds, they're the dust in her wings. Look, zoo guy, sometimes these things happen for a reason. Being moved to the elephant pen could just be the best thing that's ever happened to her. No, it's not. It's the worst thing. Those birds were her life, and she theirs. Without her, they'll, they'll die. I'm sure the birds will be fine. No, no, they won't be. Those birds are endangered, and she was trying to get them to breed. Without her, their love will die. Save the love birds. You have to do something. Hi. I don't know if you remember me, but... Ew. Did that monkey just throw his food at you? In a way. Good arm. Why don't you take a picture of this, too? Yeah, I'm sorry. I heard you got banned from your birds, so I was just... Please, no flash photography in the aviary. I said it three times. I'm sorry. The birds are traumatized, and now they have nobody to talk to. Those birds talk? They talk to me. I wouldn't understand. I wish I didn't. Those birds are in the infancy of their relationship. The bond is very delicate. And now they're migrating towards extinction like it's northwestern Paraguay, thanks to you. Hey, I'm the one who has to put on topical ointment. The female reacted defensively. She saw a flash of white. I'm sure she thought you were a snowy owl. And she's not going to be presenting herself for meeting if she thinks she's being attacked by a snowy owl. Those poor birds. You killed their love. You really are a snowy owl. Penelope, I thought we agreed for the time being that you wouldn't be interacting with them. What a Aren't you the young lady who could... Yes, it is. She's the awful woman who was tormenting them a cause. <clears throat> Would you excuse us for a minute? <laughs> this zoo is about people, Penelope, and that seems to be the one species you cannot get along with. I told you not to put me with the customers. Just let me go back to my birds. They need me. They're not your birds. They belong to the zoo. And you don't work for the zoo anymore. You're fired. Snowy owl love killer. Who are you? Why would you sneak peanut butter into my groceries? There was no sneaking. I saw that you were out. Yes, you said that at the grocery store when you pointed to the shelf and said, look, peanut butter. I told you I don't eat peanut butter. We were together the entire time. I don't even know how you... 
Here's another one. You snuck in two jars of peanut butter. Chunky and smooth. What are you doing? So you'd have a choice. You like choices, right? Not if I'm choosing between two things I don't like. When was the last time you had peanut butter? I don't know. Uh, before I married Thomas, I guess. Right. But you are not married now, so choose. What do you want me to say? Chunky. Of course you would say Chunky. Well, if it's Chunky you want, there's no point in having a jar of Smooth in the cupboard, is there? Because we all know that Smooth can't compete with Chunky, can it? God help us if our cycles sync up. Do not blame this on my period. Is this what it's like to date a woman? Oh, gee, look at that. Look at the time. It's time for you to start dating peanut-allergic men again. I guess it is. Well, there you go.